John, oh, I mean, a game that at times it just didn't feel like it was going to be our day. The ball just wouldn't go in the net. Is the overriding sense a sense of relief at the end of that? Yeah, I think deserved, uh, if we're being honest, with the amount of chances we had. Um, but relief, absolutely. Um, what minute did we score our first? Was it about 82, 83? Um, so when you get into the 70th, 75th minute, you're starting to think, right, OK, things are going against us here. Uh, you know, they were absolutely brilliant at killing time at the back end of the game. It's terribly frustrating when that starts to happen. Um, but the pressure that we was putting on them, you felt was going to, it was coming. Even if it went to, to one all, we didn't score again to take it to penalties. You felt like it was coming. Um, and, and, and as I say, deserved, I thought. Um, they were absolutely brilliant. When you when you consider the level they've come from, when you consider how far they've travelled over the last four, uh, 24, 48 hours, they've given an unbelievable account of themselves. Um, and I think the biggest, I know it might sound a bit mad, but the biggest credit I can give them is that they forced us in the first half to play the way that they wanted us to. So we started going a bit longer, a bit earlier into the two big dominant centre centre backs without getting support around Glenn. And they just ate it up. Um, they were they were brilliantly organised. Um, but they had quality as well. You know, the, the, the boy on the right that, that we were told about Williams uh, had so much quality. Um, the lads in midfield were, were comfortable taking the ball. The, the left full back was outstanding. And as I said, the two centre backs were, were, were dominant and the keepers pulled off God knows how many world class saves. So they're a good side. They've done really well. They've had a good run. Um, but from our point of view, you know, it doesn't matter when you score a goal. We say this to the lads all the time. Said to the subs, watch the game. Make sure you're watching the game because you, you want them analysing. Um, the opposition player that they're going up against and I think Spike is so good at that Max, Mark Anderson so good at, at recognising weakness um, so so from that point of view I think it was a deserved win um, terribly frustrating for the best part of 75 minutes but at the end of the day the game's 90, 100 minutes long you know, it's not it's not, it's not. not lucky if you score at the end of the game it's not lucky if you score in the first five minutes um, and the lads kept going we lack quality at times um, which needs to be addressed one way or another um, but in the end uh, f uh, our superior fitness levels and quality showed at the back end of the game a moment which actually might be forgotten in all, in all the madness was the save from Jordan Missa, who made his debut today. That was when the game was at 1-0. If it goes 2-0, it's a different story. So just how big was that and how did you feel he did coming in for his debut? Well, that's the first, first thing we said in the changing room after the game. At 1-0, the keepers pulled up. They, they've had two opportunities. They've had, they've had the goal and then the save off Jordan. Um, it was mad watching a, a low keeper that's been with us for 48 hours, running the full level of the pitch, joining the celebration. So you can see the type of character he is. He wants to be part of the group. Um, obviously, in terms of profile, what it looks like, he, he, he looks a big, imposing figure. Um, and that save, that the agility he showed to get down to that, he's, he's different class because at 2-0, they'll kill us. He won't get back in the game. So he's kept us in there. But again, that's what he's there to do. You know, that's that, that, that's what he's paid to do. Um, and it's allowed us to build that platform to go forwards um, and, and get the win in the end. When Kenton Richardson had a four yards out straight at the keeper, there's a couple of more. Did it cross your mind or was it going through your head that it just might not be out there? Or did you have belief that we were going to get that goal? No, I think, you know, especially at our level of football, people know that Man and Burns side scored plenty of goals later on. We've always done that. Anything we've ever been um, specifically um, Chester this season, we've always done that. So, so the minute you let it doubt is the minute you start to change things um, and, and you sort of become blind to what's happening on in the game in terms of uh, recognising weakness, as I said before. And I think we, what we did really well um, was, was show that desire towards the last 50 minutes of committing bodies into the box. Uh, it's very easy to, for lads to drop into, into space where other players already are um, and get in the way almost. And that, we didn't do that. We kept the pitch big and expansive. We could switch the play really well. I thought James Kirk was brilliant. It, it played forward, passing, breaking the lines into the forwards and then getting Rob. Uh, it was it was pretty quiet for the rest of the game because we couldn't get him in areas where, where he caused trouble where he went around the keeper. We talked about that half time about getting him into areas where we can play forwards down the sides of the full back, uh, the centre backs, uh, and we did it really well. And I'm waffling on in terms of the question you've answered, but we've got to believe that that you're always going to get back into the game. And I think with the amount of chances we create, it was only a matter of time. You used the word belief there. Three games from Wembley now in in this competition. I suppose we can believe, we can dream. Um, and obviously that's that'll be the goal now. Yeah, spending more obviously got to the quarters three years ago, was it? Um, the fur this is the furthest me and Burn have got in this competition, um, and three wins to, to to Wembley. You know you've got to you, you've got to start believing that you you can do it. Obviously the draws an important part of it, but when you get to the last sixteen of a national competition, you, you, it doesn't matter who you get really. Um, nobody want to come to spend more. Um, and, and and play us play us here. Um, so whoever you get, you get. I'm looking forward to the draw. It's exciting. But the most important thing is starting to plan for Boston next Saturday.